Quantic Media. I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I walk it out. What is going on guys? Should be 2142 here again with more Team Fortress 2 on the PC. This is on my Team Fortress 2 server, of course. So if you have any questions about TeamSpeak 3 or where you can chat with us, there is a little video and all that good information there when you join. I'll be playing Soldier. This is on PLR Nightfall Final. It's a good little map and basically what it means is it's a payload, but it's payload race. So there are two carts, two payload bombs for each team, and you have to push them to the end of the objective, the finish, and there's three stages. I'm playing the soldier class. He is my favorite. I think he's the most straightforward, easy to learn, obviously difficult to master, kind of like every other class in the game, but you have a rocket launcher, you have a shotgun, you start with a shovel. I'm using the pickaxe, and I can explain why in a little bit. A lot of people already know, but this video for Quantic Media a lot of people are not Team Fortress 2 pros, like uh, a lot of my friends and viewers and subscribers on my typical channel, which it, once again is just Shibby2142 if you want to come check me out. And of course, if you're watching this video on my channel, you already know what's up. This scout uses a nice tactic that I like to use when playing a scout, especially when playing a soldier, is that you jump at them. That way, you can get more bullets from the scatter gun, which is the little shotgun type default weapon right there obvious spy is obvious helping out my engineer anyways back to the scatter gun that i jump at soldiers because either you will kill them or typically they will kill themselves and you instead of just losing the battle straight up because of the splash damage of the rocket of being close scouts if you didn't know have double jump a lot of people know that but if you're new to team fortress they have double jump so you can jump once and jump twice when you're in the air so you can change direction and that makes it very difficult for soldiers that are new to the game I struggle with it myself sometimes, a little rocket jump there sniper across the way, I'm gonna retreat here to get some health and pick up some uh, nice frags and taking out the teleporter which is very important to do so that way the enemy team cannot push up as easy luckily my team did have this little area that I can pick up the health pack and uh, lay down some rockets Taking out the scout I was dueling, he came at me, but I was able to juggle him with the help of my teammates to take him out and for a successful kill, pushing the bomb here, which if you didn't know, gives you health and ammo. Slowly, you can see bottom left, my health is going up. I'm using the PV HUD, if you didn't know, so that is the HUD I'm using. I have a video how to install it and all that good stuff, so I uh, just search in the YouTube box and I'm sure uh, one of my videos will come up and that will really help you out. A comment or a question that I get in my videos often, I do read all my comments, I just can't respond to them all or else I'd never be able to make videos, is that, Shibby, why do you like soldiers so much? Why are you the rocket man they talk about? Interestingly enough, I'll talk about my intro, I guess, when it says I'm the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I walk it out. That was from Prof. He is a local rap artist, hip-hop artist, whatever you want to call him, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, where I used to live. That's where I went to college, University of Minnesota. And I contacted him and his music group and asked him if it was okay to use that five-second bit in my intro. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, feel free to watch the first, I don't know, 10 seconds of the video, and uh, you'll have a little refresher there. And because, also, a little story time with Uncle Shibby, that my second video ever uploaded it's not on YouTube anymore because I was an idiot and I think I put a little copyrighted music uh, in the intro, maybe Journey or something, I don't really remember all that much, but someone asked me, hey Shivs, you play Team Fortress 2 sometimes, can you just do a gameplay commentary and see what happens? So obviously my render settings were really bad, the game looked really crappy, and I just played Soldier on Gold Rush. It was the second stage, I went 20 and 5 and it had like 30,000 views within a year or two and I'm like wait what? so then I started getting a little more like oh okay I'll start uh, uploading more videos of Team Fortress 2 and you know start taking this YouTube thing more seriously top scoring there like a boss so Red Team seizes the area this is the start of the second stage this went on probably for about 
I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, so I'm not going to show you this whole thing, but the opening sequence where I'm riding the bomb was pretty amusing. Red team was playing very well and uh, organized. Once again, all you Team Fortress veterans already know that the bomb gives you health and ammo like I mentioned before, but if you're new to the game, you might not know that you have to stand next to the bomb to push it. Spy being obvious, I like standing either in front of the cart or on top of it, hopefully to uh, give spies just like that more trouble. And I do encounter one or two more. Very confused what that pyro was doing. He had no chance. It was five or four versus one. So I'm just kind of chilling here. I'm like, oh yeah, just ride my bike. Obvious spy is obvious. And I'm just gonna keep this doorway clear and just kind of hang out. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm trying to do a little balance between explaining what's going on, fail backstab, LOL, between pro tactics, which I'm not a pro, I'm just a public player, I enjoy what I do, I think I'm very average, I'd never consider myself uh, the best or anything like that, I uh, don't play competitive Team Fortress 2 at all, so it is trying to balance what I find what works for me and trying to help out the new players because I care about the community and I'm trying to be a helpful guy. So there is the screen of winning the second stage. Let's uh, move on to the third stage here because this uh, second stage did take forever, a lot of back and forth, and would not make that interesting of a video. So this is the start of the third stage. There is no setup time, it's just right away. You will notice bottom of the screen in the middle that our cart starts a little ahead of theirs because we won the previous stages, which is kind of nice, a little incentive. And there is some tricky engineers that start coming at me. So I see his mini sentry gonna put two rockets into that because that's what it takes to take it out and I thought I killed both engineers right there with the rocket like huh a little, little little clat there right he was hiding behind that uh area of the garage like that is really sneaky and clever because first look if you watch that again it looked like I got both and without really glancing too hard at the kill feed I thought I was good so I was a little surprising something different that I've never seen before and why is this engineer building a sentry gun right where our people are pushing the cart like there's no way he's gonna get that built so I shut that down really quick one thing that you must know about payload is that when you're pushing the bomb or cart whatever you'd like to call it up an incline you have to stay with it till the top of the incline or it will slide back down so those are typically choke points these are snipers using the Machina, what I call the Machinima rifle, and they can't hip fire. So basically, as long as they don't pull out their SMG and totally unload on you, those are easy kills. Just a 1-2 with the rockets, no problem. While this video is wrapping up, I want to say that I don't play the sexiest style of soldier in the world. I don't go for air shots. I'm not very good at them. I should probably practice them, but you know what it is. I go for splash damage. I juggle people up and then predict where they're going and put a rocket right at their feet. So that's what works for me. That's what reminds me of my Halo days with the rocket launcher. So that's just uh, good memories and how I play. A little rocket jump there. Because I want to be a helpful and nice guy, I do have a rocket jumping tutorial for the very basics. So just search Shibby2142 rocket jump and that'll probably come up tutorial. Our bomb goes into the pit, it explodes, and we win. So that is three stages of PLR Nightfall Final on my Team Fortress 2 server. If you need the server IP that is available in my Steam group, which is available in the video description, Facebook, Twitter, Shibby2142. If you're watching this on my channel, thanks. If not, come check me out, and I'll see you next time. Gilbert, you're, you're killing me, Katie. Absolutely killing me. Why don't you just take a nap down here? There. See, much better. Oh, great. Nope. Nope. This is why we can't have nice things. Yep. Exactly why we can't have nice things.